Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is actually my first video filming with my new layout, my new background, my new setup. Um, yeah, I'm transforming. I'm transforming my spare room into like a little YouTube space or filming space, beauty space. Um, and it's so much better because I can just have everything set up ready to film because I love filming but I hate setting up. So I feel like I could have been filming more than I have been, um, but I just couldn't be bothered setting up because it's so much messing around. So now it's all set up, ready for me, so I have no excuses. Um, I do want to apologise for the lighting though. I do have two ring lights, but they're just not doing the job. And I feel like I look a lot more pale on camera than I do in person. But we're just going to have to work with it. Um, but yeah, I'm loving my new background. I've got a few more bits to add, but for now this will do. I wanted to keep it quite simple. But yeah, I'm going to get straight in with the vid. Um, a few of you have asked how I curl my hair. So I thought I would add that into like a get ready with me and make it a bit more interesting doing like a makeup look as well. This makeup look I do if I'm actually going somewhere. Um, quite a simple look. Obviously it's locked down so I'm not going anywhere at the minute but I'm doing it for the purpose of the video. And sometimes it is nice to get up and actually get ready for the day because I feel like I make more progress with my day if I actually get up put a little bit of makeup on and feel good, feel a bit more put together. I actually feel like I do something with my day. So yeah, I'm going to start off with makeup. I've actually just bought these, which I'm going to pop in. I've never used them before, but um, just to keep the hair out my face. You know, I am actually someone who usually can go about a week, that might be minging, without washing my hair. But recently, I don't know what's up with my hair, I don't know if it's a new shampoo that I've been using. I just feel like it's not lasting as much. Okay. Okay, so let's start with brows. Um, I've just actually prepped my face with my favourite, favourite, favourite moisturiser at the minute. I discovered it about a month and a half ago and I'm obsessed with it. If you've got normal to dry skin, you really need to try this. I find that it it leaves quite like an oily residue so I feel like if you're oily it might not be best but it does say it's for all skin types so it's SPF 30 defends and cares provides 24 hour hydration and helps protect from the environment make sure that in your skincare you are wearing SPF like make sure you are wearing SPF even in the winter months um but honestly I find that my skin it really balances my skin out and makes me feel and look hydrated throughout the day um, which is what I have kind of been missing from my moisturiser I've not really found a moisturiser perfect for me yet until I found this I used my mum's because I ran out of my ordinary one and I actually prefer this so I've just popped this on um, and for my eye cream I've used the ordinary 100% plant derived squalene I'm going to link that below because I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, I do have tan on, um, although the camera's not really picking it up. I look pretty pale on camera, but I have used the Molly May um, filter tan in shade dark. Let me just mute that, sorry. Um, I've got the filter by Molly May on, and I don't usually use like a mousse tan on my face, but that one, it works really well on my skin and I've not broke out from it yet touch wood um, so yeah I've got that well I put it on last night and I've washed it off so I've got a layer of that on my face okay so I'm going to start off with brows I've been using the Benefit Precisely My, ugh, Precisely My Brow Pencil um, looks like this I used to use um, like a gel but I just prefer pencil at the minute so I just kind of um, start at the bottom I'm quite happy with my shape, I just wish they were thicker and I just always comb up. So I just do underneath the arch, sorry I do underneath and then I do the arch and then at the front I kind of just do little strokes.
like I said, I don't actually fill my brows in this much usually. It's because there's no tint on them whatsoever, so I feel like you can't see them at all because I'm naturally so fair. So now I'm going to pop concealer on my lids for a base and also carve out underneath my brows. And to do that I take the Tarte Shape Tape, which I'm sure everyone has heard of by now. I'm really praying that my charge does not go because it's flashing on me. And it's been charging for over an hour so I don't know why. It's flashing on me. So, really, really simple. I'm then just gonna powder on top with just a loose powder. I've just got the Huda Beauty one. And I'm not putting a lot on, I'm just like dusting it over. What I've been doing for the eyeshadow every day, I either just leave it like this, or I add a bit of bronzer on. Um, I've just used the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish with a big fluffy brush. This one is from Doll Beauty. I am obsessed with these brushes. I get the goat hair ones though because I feel like the colour payoff is better. Um, and they come in these cute cases. I mean, that is so dirty. I really would recommend the Doll Beauty. Okay, so bronzer through the crease, big fluffy brush because then it's not too precise and it's just a bit more of like a blown out softer look you don't want to use too much of like a precise small brush because you won't get the same effect and I just want quite a like I said soft blown out look and I'm actually taking it right in here let me zoom you in again in it right in here that's something that I never used to do because I was scared of doing but if you use quite a big fluffy brush you won't go wrong and quite a soft bronzer blow it up, blow it up, blend it up and out. Don't be scared of going out like all the way here. That's what we're working with so far. I then at this point would probably put eyelashes on but I do have individuals on. Okay so for eyeliner I'm feeling just a smoky lash line. I'm just going to get like a black eyeshadow so, or like a dark brown. Um. I've just got the Doll Beauty and Mud Pie and Macchianos. I think I said that right. So I'm using the Doll Beauty 8. Well, it's got DB8, so I'm guessing that's the code. Uh, but you want kind of like anything flat with like a thin end. And I'm going in with a dark brown and a bit of black. I don't want it as black as black, but I want like a dark, dark brown. And I'm literally pressing on that lash line. I just literally want it to line my lash line. Can you see? It just adds that tiny bit of definition. That's what it looks like. And then I'm just going to get another brush. Make sure all these brushes are clean, guys. I'm going to get the DB13. So it's a really small blending brush. A bit more of a precise one. And then I'm literally just going to blend it out. What am I doing? I was going to look in there for the mirror. I'm just going to blend that out. So I'm just going to do little tiny circular motions. You don't have to be like this. Just small little motions. So for skin, I'm going to be using beauty blenders as always. They, I'm going to just damp them a bit more, bear with. Okay, skin. If you know me, you know Luminous Silk Foundation from Armani. Um, now, my go-to shade is 3.5, but I've run out, so I'm mixing my 6.5 and 2 together to get that same shade. Well, similar shade. Um, and I'm using my Beauty Blender. I'm just, I'm not going to pop a primer on because I feel like the moisturiser that I use does a great job of doing that. Um, it really helps balance my skin out ready for my foundation. Giving them a shake. So the 6.5 is quite yellowy, so the 2 is quite neutral, so it just kind of tones it down because I don't like it too yellowy. It's really not yellow at all. I'm very pinky, so it just looks daft. Although I would love to be olive skinned, I'm not. Okay. 
So I've mixed that on the back of my hand. And then I just find that beauty blenders work so well for my skin because I'm quite dry. The moisture from the, the sponge really helps blend it in. I always, I swear by this foundation. I love, again, because I'm quite dehydrated, it's perfect for me. It is really lightweight though. Um, to get that coverage, you do have to build it. So if you want like a full coverage look, this foundation's probably not for you. But saying that, I mix it in with my NARS All Day Luminous and it's a perfect full coverage for like a night outlook. But for every day, this coverage is perfect for me. I kind of start around here and then whatever's left I blend into like my hairline. There's nothing worse than getting that line around your hair and especially when you're ginger. So foundation, check. So next concealer and I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape of course. This is exactly like the Luminous Silk, I can't not use it. Um, I actually use it in the shade Light Neutral. And it's perfect for me. I do put quite a lot of concealer. To be fair, I've probably just overdone that and I don't actually put that much on day to day. But every time I get on camera, I tend to put a bit more of what I usually do. I don't know why. But yeah, we'll roll with it. I to go in with a contour stick. And I've this is recently new to my routine and I love it. It's like a creamy contour stick. And I got it in the shade, it says 200. It's perfect contour colour, not too bronzy, quite cool, but not too cool where it's going to make you look like ashy. I mean, I say this is an everyday look, it definitely isn't. But it's my go-to look if I'm going out and actually doing something. Not like shopping, like a food shop or something. But if I'm actually going out for dinner or something like that. And then I pop it underneath here. Blend it. I'm baking a little bit here. Powder brush at the ready. I'm gonna use the Doll Beauty number four. This is my favourite for blending out under the eye. Super fluffy one. It's really good for highlighter too. I'm just dusting that little bit there that I said. I'm gonna use oh, this top. Really makes me feel like I've got no bloody neck. I'm gonna use the Mac Mineralized Skin Finish again. And I'm gonna use an angled brush. This again is a Doll Beauty in number two. I'm just going to follow where I originally put the cream bronzer. I bring it slightly onto my apples too. Down to like the corner of my lips. I don't want to make it too much. You see I quite like the glow from this stick. Then for blush, I'm going to go in with a new fave of mine. It's from Tarte again. And it's in the shade Quirky. Um, if you know me, you know I love like more peachy kind of tones. This is more of a pinky peach rather than a true peach. Kind of like a coral, I'd say. It's really, really pretty. It's not something that I would probably have picked up but, or chosen. Um, but it come with um, my concealers when I bought it as a little free gift. What is wrong with me? I can never talk on camera. A little free gift. Um, I'm going to use a brush I'd probably use something a bit smaller usually but this is what I've got on me at the minute shade one shade one in number one so this I pop on my apples of the cheeks and kind of blend up some people skip blush but I don't understand how like I feel like it just adds everything to a look oh, I love blush I think especially when you're really fair like me, I feel like it just adds that colour back into the skin. Don't know actually. Quite like it. Okay. Highlighter. So I've been skipping using powder highlight. I don't know why. I find that I just 
have a liquid highlighter on me um, and my favourite one that I've been using the Mo. This is a fluid shade and what I love about these, you can use them underneath your foundation, in with your foundation or on top. I don't really like it in with because it's got flecks of shimmer in so I find that it completely changes the consistency of your foundation but my favourite is to use on top so I know liquid um, highlighters scare some people so I just pop about that much on the back of my hand I probably am going to need more get a beauty blender and I always get the flat side and I dab it in really lightly so it's kind of majority of it is kind of sat on top of the sponge and really really lightly just dab in and I do it on the cheekbones and I slightly go on to the apples as well and then whatever's left do this side a little bit on the chin nose the end of my nose and then I raise my brows and apply it just here I'm going to go in with the the sponge I used at the beginning and go over so that's the lip liner done and then I'm just going to go in with a clear gloss. I'm just using the Too Faced Lip Injection and it gives a little bit of like a plump to the lips too. And just dab in. And then I'm using my finger to blend. Every day I don't wear lipstick. To be honest, I don't really like lipstick. It just doesn't suit me. If I wear like anything on the lips, like a lipstick, it's like a lip cream usually. Yeah a bit of me okay so to finish off the look I'm gonna go in with my NYX control freak which is an eyebrow gel and just go with my brows oh my gosh I have just ordered Jess Hunt's new brow products the little collection and I'm so excited to try it it's not arrived yet but I might do like a little Instagram video on use, using that because I think the results are going to be insane. I can't wait to try. I'm going to put some mascara on my bottom lashes. Okay, so before I start actually with the hair tutorial, I want to talk to you about a few of the products that I use. Um... I used to just use shampoo conditioner from like Boots, Superdrug, but one of my best friends are hairdressers and I work with a few hairdressers and they have told me how bad it is to use those shampoos and conditioners because apparently they leave like a plastic coating on your hair. Um, so I swapped over to a brand called Neil and Wolf. I think it's an American brand. Um, I get it from my hairdresser at the salon. Um, or I use Goldwell. Goldwell is quite a popular brand. Um, but if you just do a bit of research, you can... I've just got it out of the shower and it's dripping all over me. Um, but yeah, I would do a bit of research into a brand that's a bit better than the ones that you can buy at Super Drug and Boots. I'm not saying they're all bad. Um, I've just been told a numerous of times that I'm best investing in shampoo and conditioner. So that's what I've done. And I can see such a difference already with the, the shine and the health of my hair. I mean, I am quite lucky with my hair. I've got quite good conditioned hair. But since using these products, I've seen even more of a difference. And for heat protector, I use, to be fair, I do use any. I've just got the John Frieda one, which is frizzies, extra strength. And it controls frizz as well. And heat protection smooths, hydrates and tames. Um, and I just put out put a pea size amount of this in. So what I'm going to show you today is how I do kind of like my everyday curls. This is like my go-to curl and this is what I tend to wear on Instagram and what people have messaged to show. So that's what I'm going to do today. But yeah, these are just the 
Trizo, oh no I don't think that's the name. These are just the GHD ones, I will try and link them down below. They're quite a fat um, wand. The thinner one my best friend has and the curls last longer but they're not as like loose. They're a bit more bouncy and um, for me I prefer quite a thicker one because my hair takes ages to drop. So if you're someone with hair that um, drops quite quickly maybe go for the smaller one and then brush it out. So I will probably speed this up as well because otherwise we'll be here all day and it's pretty boring. But I'm going to show you how I like section my hair and stuff. I'm actually really liking my hair straight at the minute but if I straighten it has to be not like this. Um, it has to be like slit rick really straight or um, kind of like blown at the end so it kind of um, shapes my face and frames my face. It's really bad you shouldn't use dry shampoo but I do. It's not great for your hair I don't think but I'm going to be honest with you I do like to use it around the front of my face. Okay so I think I do it in threes if I do it properly but if I just want a quick like 10 minute hair I don't actually section it and I just get big bits but it kind of just kills the ends rather than getting volume but I'm going to show you like how I do it properly like if I was to go actually out so that's how I section it I really shouldn't have worn this top I'm getting really hot as well oh god right so yeah I section it I'd probably say in three so this is the first section it's quite big and you want to make sure you get like you get chunky plate what am I oh, I'm starting to annoy myself you want to try and get thick pieces of hair and so it's gonna be hard for me like the way you're looking at me so the actual um, clip wants to be near your face at first and then you want to twist away and I twist away like this, leave a little bit out, twist again and then I lift this up a little bit and twist. So I lift it and I let it go, just hold just for about five seconds. So again the clip bit needs to be the silver bit needs to be near it, close to your face, and then curl away. Sorry, I can't do it when I'm looking. Curl away, right to the end, so there's a bit out. Then twist again and lift that up, and then down. You want to curl all your hair that way, and on this side you want to curl it that way. I probably held that on a bit too long, if I'm honest. So I'm going to do the same for the next two sections. I'll skip the middle section because it's exactly the same and then I will come back when I'm on my last section. I finished the second uh, layer. So I'm on my final bit and make sure you get your parting right. I'm going to do a middle parting for this. Sometimes I have more of a side parting depending when I'm in the mood. Depending what mood I'm in. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a middle, brushes don't know what they're called, and then I'm literally going to go straight down the middle, like so. Also, I forgot to add before, I am quite lucky that my natural hair dries like this, quite smooth and easy to work with. If you're someone who has quite frizzy hair, then obviously do some more research into what products suit your hair to kind of help with the frizz and smooth and smoothen it and um, also if you've naturally got like quite wavy curly hair you might want to blow dry your hair straight or as straight as you can or smooth it down as smooth as you can first I let my hair dry natural um, 
I think that's why it's in such good condition as well because I don't really use heat on it. So again, make sure you're putting heat through all of your hair. So for the front piece, you want to make sure all that's away and actually I'm going to do that piece here first. You want to make sure it's quite precise at the front otherwise it'll just look messy. So I'm going to take about that oh, a couple of times to get volume. again with this bit gonna get a volume at the root by doing that make sure you don't burn your head on that though guys and then do that you can just use a big paddle brush like this to brush out but I actually prefer using a youth comb well probably a wider one than that if you have so I'm going to get it all to the front and I'm just going to comb downwards. Sometimes I don't even comb it, I just put, run my fingers through it. So it's like that. I would say leave it as long as you can before you comb it out though. I'm just gonna add the volume. So I literally flip my hair forward and do this and then flip it back. Let it fall back into play. Whoa, look at that volume now. And then just kind of style how you want it. Like, see, I just play around with it till it frames my face. Sometimes it's not as curly as this, actually. Um, what else do I do? If I want to add volume in the root, I use this so I don't get my fringe in. And I just pop that to that side. And then just slightly back comb, not a lot. And then pop that back over. Give it a bit of a shake at the root. It just adds a tiny bit of volume, not much. Um, but yeah, I'll show you a close up. So the curls. Make sure you comb out and make sure you do that flip up and down to kind of loose, loosen it all at the roots. Anyway guys, this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed watching it just as much as I enjoyed filming it. I think this is probably my favourite video I've filmed so far. So I'm definitely going to do a few more get ready with me um, videos. Probably more like chit chatty ones like this. I really, really miss getting all glammed up to go out with the girls. So this has really felt like... I'm ready to go on a night out, um, but unfortunately I'm just going to go downstairs and cook. But yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, just let me know or give me some more ideas of what to do next. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all okay and I will see you in my next video. Bye.